Hey guys, so we're here with another video for Art Joy of Sharing for March uh, 2020. And this month we're supposed to be discussing what excites you. At least I think that's what the topic is. Hang on. I was right. Explore what excites you. So let's have a little chat. So what excites me in art? Uh, everything? Is that a good answer? Um, I love just the process of creating. I love having a daily creative practice. And if you follow me on social media, you know I do a daily drawing or something every day. I have been for almost two years, I think. Um, I do one or two drawings or more every single day and post them on Instagram. So there's a fun fact. So my social media links are down below. There's a link that's called Linktree with my name at the end. If you click on it, you're going to find Instagram, Twitter, like all that stuff. So anyway, um, and if you want to see my daily art posts, you can uh, follow me on one of them. Instagram is the easy, easiest one. But anyway, everything excites me. I love the process of creating. I love the process of um, telling a story visually with images and color, usually words. I use words in a lot of my art. My art's all about um, words, expressing a feeling, telling a story, conveying an emotion. And um, one of my favorite supplies, watercolor. I love my watercolors. I'm gonna show you my desk in a minute because it's a mess. There's some acrylic paint on the desk. There's a bunch of watercolor stuff. The water jars are full again. And my Daniel Smith Studio palette's been out on the table for a few weeks now, and I don't see putting it away anytime soon. Um, I'm very excited by watercolor. One of my favorite authors is Jean Haynes. I will link her Amazon page uh, below. And she is a watercolorist and teacher, and she has a fabulous line of books I can't say enough good things about that are easy to follow, very educational, teach you a lot, and are very exciting to work through, which isn't always the case. Sometimes the books have great information, but to be honest, I'm the type of person that doesn't ever read the manual and wants to just put the computer program in the computer and just start working with it. I don't want to be bothered reading directions. I know, right? So for a book to really captivate my attention, that says something because generally I have watercolor books and they're just reference when I get stuck on something and I just don't have the patience to sit and read it cover to cover. Her, her books aren't like that. I can sit and read the whole thing and the one that's on the table I have done that. Um, so yeah, and I'm really this year really um, excited about pairing my studio down to just those supplies that I love and um, I've been working on that since before we moved and just keeping those things that I love, not those things that, oh, well, I, I might use that someday. Mm -mm, nope. <laughs> I need to just have the products and supplies in my studio that excite me, that make me walk, want to walk in and go, ooh, I want to make something with that. That excites me. And inspiring others to create art, to express themselves, and to... Um, play and have fun with creating, that also excites me. Uh, I'm so excited lately in the past few weeks. Even one of my aunts has started back to daily drawing, which she hasn't done since her kids, my cousins, were little. So I, I just, that kind of thing is what excites me. Let me show you my table. Hang on. Now this is the state of my table. If this doesn't tell you that art excites me, I don't know what, I don't know what to tell you. It's, I have a little space in the middle <laughs> that the camera can see and the rest of it is just covered with stuff that I don't think is going to be put away anytime soon. Um, the drying racks have, I just got done um, dyeing some paper so they've got cookie sheets on it that are drying on a journal that I was working on and you know even um, my easel area and stuff because I've been working on the daily faces for the month of February. I'm filming this in the middle of February. So and that's something else. Like I said daily art practice excites me and the, these faces, just covering this board with faces one a day for every day for the month of February. Uh, today is February 19th so that's where it's at right now. That's been surprisingly fun and exciting. So I want you to really think about in the process of creating whether uh, you just like to do crafts or you like to paint, you do like to do assemblage, maybe you just like general DIY, whatever it is about that that 
you like doing? What do you really like doing? And if you are like me and most people I know, you've tried over the years floral design, clay, knitting, crochet, needlework, you know, but you didn't, some of those you love and some you don't. Maybe it's time for the don'ts to move on to somebody else. So one of the things that excites me is taking the supplies that I don't love, that I don't love anymore, or that I'm not using, and I never, you know, I shouldn't have bought in the first place, and donating them to a local shelter um, for homeless families, and um, they have an art class there, and so I've been taking over boxes of supplies to the shelter for them to use in class, and I think that's a wonderful way um, to lighten up my space and give them things that they can use. So just because you have it, just because you bought it, doesn't mean you need to keep it and hang on to it and have it clutter up your space and um, make it so that you don't want to walk into your creative room. Yeah? So anyway, think about it. What really excites you? I would love to hear. Leave something in the comments down below. Maybe we can give each other some ideas of um, different things to try or remind each other, oh, you know, I do like doing that too. Maybe I should, look, where is my stuff? Maybe we can remind each other of that, yes? Um, for other ideas and videos, go look at Art Joya Sharing's Facebook page. I will leave their link in the description below. I will also leave a link to their YouTube channel. They have uh, weekly live broadcasts, which are a lot of fun. So yes, art and telling a story and encouraging others to do the same. That excites me. Anyway, if you want to know more about that, follow my channel and there'll be more topics, um, more videos coming up on this topic um, going forward. And I hope that you follow along. And if you have interesting, new, unique ways to tell your story artistically, I sure would love to hear about them. So that's it for today. Don't forget to uh, to support all your uh, creative uh, people here on YouTube and over in the Facebook groups by finding out how you can do that and clicking on their video description. If they've got an Etsy store, it's probably down there. Um, maybe an Amazon tip jar, I mean a PayPal tip jar, an Amazon affiliate link. Uh, maybe they've got Patreon or they've got the YouTube membership. Um, check it out. I have that. They probably have that. If they don't, you can always message them and ask. Um, but yeah, support your artists and the free content here on YouTube and over on Facebook. Like, share, and subscribe if you will. And don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself. Something exciting. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.